How to change your fluorescent fixture to an LED fixture. This video is made for most any 4-foot fixture that is currently using a T8 or T12 bulb and is hooked up to 120 or 277 volts. The video has five parts. The first part is the safety and tools required. The second is an overview of the fixture and how to get it open. The third is removing the old parts from the fixture and the fourth, the insertion of the new sockets and wire. And of course, the closing it up and turning on the new LED lights. Part one is our safety section. First of all, and most important, turn off the circuit breaker that feeds the fixture you're working on. If you cannot lock the breaker cabinet, put some red tape across the breaker. Sounds crazy, but one of our guys was shocked off his ladder because someone came along and saw the breaker off and turned it back on. Here's some of the tools that uh, are required to do this job today. It's actually very simple. The uh, little socket and wiring kits, these come with, uh, with each of the LED tubes. Uh, wire cutter, our favorite wire stripper, we got this uh, down at Home Depot. Uh, nut driver, um, we also include the uh, little uh, uh, wire devices. Um, of course, the safety glasses. And uh, we always like to have a meter with us, check the power. And of course, the new energy efficient, UL approved, T8 LED four foot tubes. We also carry a work light with us. As you just shut off the lighting in the circuit breaker panel, it'll be too dark to work. Save yourself a trip and bring a good work light with you on the job. One thing I wanna make sure that you do is we are dealing with the older fluorescent uh, glass tubes and if they should break, um, they will slightly explode and you could get glass in your eye. That's why we always recommend wearing eye protection, making sure that uh, you're safe. On the light fixture, all the light fixtures either have louvers or lenses in them, but, but these are made to come off so you can change the light bulbs up inside. Sometimes it's really hard to see. We always carry a flashlight with us so we can look up in here and find out where the release mechanism is and what kind of release mechanism it is. So uh, today we can look up in here and, well, we can see there's a little spring release right up inside. We bring our screwdriver along with us and um, just release this fixture. It's pretty simple. Just pull the spring back and see it releases like that. And this is the spring. When you put the fixture back together, we're going to be aligning this and pushing it back in. Sometimes we have to open up the ceiling panels, get up inside, because everything tends to move around. So releasing the fixture louvers is pretty simple. Uh, there's a release on each end. And usually it just swings down like so. Um, they're also made that you can remove the, uh, the hinge part and take the whole louver off and clean it if you need to. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the fluorescent tubes. And uh, this is a good, good place to remind you to wear safety glasses. Take the tubes out one at a time here. Pretty simple. You just twist them and they come out like so. We're going to dispose of our tubes properly or we're going to give them to the neighbors that don't have LEDs. The next step is we're going to take this cover off. Up inside here is the, uh, the ballast that runs this light fixture. Uh, this fluorescent fixture. So this is simple. Just squeeze it together like so. And it comes right out of the light fixture. And up underneath it is the, the ballast and the, um, the wiring for the fluorescent tubes. Uh, first thing we're going to do is um, find where the wiring is coming into the light fixture from the electrical source, which we did shut off just a few minutes ago. And we're going to find the green wire, which is ground. The white wire is neutral. And of course, the black wire is the hot one. So we're going to disconnect this light fixture right now from its power source. Take the wire nuts off, uh, separate the wires, we separated the black one, we're separating the white one. So here we have the, uh, the wire separated. I'm going to put a wire nut here on the hot one just to kind of, just in case, just kind of keep it covered up for now. And um, we're going to go ahead next and we're going to remove the uh, ballast from the light fixture. Uh, we're not going to need it anymore. It's done uh, as we convert this to an LED light fixture. I'm going to remove the ballast. I'll take my nut driver here and twist this off. All right. We got the nut out. We got the ballast hanging free. Next step is I'm going to actually cut, I'm actually going to cut all these wires. We don't need them anymore. 
All right, well, we no longer we no longer need the ballast, so I'm gonna simply come in here and I'm gonna cut the wires and we're gonna, we're gonna take it down and completely remove it. Here, it's gone. We're going to designate this end of the light fixture, and it really doesn't matter which end, as our power end. This is where the power is going to come into the tubes. Now, these little sockets in here, or what some people call tombstones, these are shunted. And if we use the wiring in this fixture, first of all, we can't, there's not enough. If we use these sockets and we ran power to them for the LEDs, we would have a dead short. And you could actually fry the end of your LED fry your socket and end up with a real problem. But not to worry, this is a simple fix. We're going to take this little assembly out of here. It's very, very simple to do. The lighting fixture manufacturers just have these little tabs in here and we'll be able to take this right out. Most light fixtures are pretty much the same. Um, this bracket's not actually screwed in place. It's held in with little pressure tabs. You take a screwdriver and press these in just, just enough to release it. Um, it usually comes right out pretty quick. So here, I'm going to back off a little bit so you can just get a better view of how this thing came out. These little tabs were up here, and it just swings into place. And you can just push it in, and these little, these little tabs here underneath grab a hold. So we're going to take the socket assembly out. It has the sockets here and the wiring, and this is the part we're going to redo so we can use the LED bulbs. Okay, we've removed the socket assembly from the light fixture and you can see here on the back that these sockets are shunted, which means the two pins are connected together electrically. These won't work with LED. We're going to take them out. But take a good look how they're, how they're put in here. They're not fastened in, they're just slid in. Okay, so I just want to make sure that before you take these out, you know how to put the, the new ones that we supply in. So I'm going to just take them out one at a time. So we're going to take the first one out, put it, put it aside, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the new one with the, uh, the black and the white wire. Again, the, uh, the black is hot and the, um, the white is being neutral, and these slide right in place of where we took the old one out. Simple as that. I'm going to take the second one out, I'm going to do the same thing with it, and I'm going to put the, the new one in place of it right here. Just slides right in. And we're going to take the third one out. And here's the old sockets. These are the ones that are shunted. And we're going to tape them up and toss them because we're not going to use them anymore. And uh, here's, here's the third one we're going to put in. And now we have a whole brand new socket assembly. And it's ready to go back into the fixture. Each socket has the white, the black, the white, the black, the white, the black. Ready to go. Very, very simple. Here's a whole assembly with the brand new sockets in it, wired and ready to go. And now we're going to take this and put it back up in our light fixture. But I wanted to give you a good look at how it's all assembled. By the way, sometimes these little tabs down here need to be adjusted for more friction in case your sockets just fall out. So you just press them down a little bit with a screwdriver and that'll make them tight. All right, we got the sockets and the new back in the assembly and we're going to put it in pretty much the same way we took it out. We are going to make sure that the wires don't get pinched anywhere. So we put the little tabs up in here, keeping an eye on all of our wires, making sure they're in the slots and they're not, they're not being pinched. Once we've got it in the tab, just take your thumb and push these babies, push it right in place, just like so. One, two, three, Four. Now we got our sockets mounted very securely. We have all of our wires are loose. And now it even gets even easier to do. We're going to take our wires and we're going to join them with the power supply wires. These are a little long, so we're just going to trim them back a little bit. Not really a big deal. So I have three black wires. These are my hots going to the sockets on the other end of the light fixture. Here's my connector supplied. And I'm going to take each black wire, I'm going to push it into the connector. It's going to lock inside very tight. They're not made to come out. If you make a mistake here, you have to replace, cut the connector off and replace it. So again, there's the three wires from the sockets going in. Here's the hot wire coming from the power source. And if you notice, the end of it's kind of bent out. Well, we're going to, we're going to take this and we're going to clean it up a little bit. We're just simply going to take it. We're going to cut off that bad end. 
we're going to take our wire stripper, come back up here and just strip it back a little bit, just like we did before with the socket wires. And we're going to take that black wire and we're going to join it with all the other black wires. Never join a black and a white together. If you do, you'll get a dead short. So that's it. We've made up all of our electrical connections. Everything's clean and ready, black to black, white to white, and the fixture is grounded as, if it, as it was when we first started. I want to go over the connectors one more time, how we have this together. It's very simple, it's very visual. Black wires all connecting together. Here's the black wire coming from the building feed. This is the hot. So each socket has one black wire. And being that this is a three light fixture, it's going to have three socket wires and one building feed. And over here, three socket wires and one building feed. Now we can do this with a one light, two light, three light, or four light fixture. Just the difference is the number of wires going into the socket. We're going to take these wires now, dress them out, and put them up underneath the cover that we took off the light fixture that covered the, the original ballast. All right, we're going to put the cover back over the wires to hide them. This is the same cover we took off a little while ago. Most of them don't require any tools at all. I'm going to tuck the wires up underneath to make sure that there's nothing being pinched. It's very, very simple. We're just going to squeeze it all together. Push the wires up in there with our fingers. Take the cover, squeeze it back into the little tabs. Now we have our cover on and we're ready to put the tubes in. Uh, we're going to put the LED bulbs in. Make sure you reach down here to the end and pull off the little protective cover. Just a little plastic guy looks like that. Okay, and look for the words input side. So we're not going to put this here. This is the wrong side. We're going to actually turn this lamp around because if you remember, it's the other side that has the power. This side of the light fixture, the sockets are dead. Put the tube in as you would any fluorescent tube and rotate it so the milky part where the, where the lens is is shooting straight down. The metal part's facing up. We're going to put the second tube in, take off the end cap. Always be aware of what side of the tube is the input side. Make sure you're putting the tube in correctly because only one end of the fluorescent fixture is going to have power now. The other end is completely dead. It's just there to hold the pins in, hold the bulb up. There's the second tube in, and this one's in wrong. Metal part shooting down. So we're going to take that back out. We're going to turn it around. We're going to put it in correctly. So the milky part's shooting straight down. That way the light's going to come down and that go up into the reflector. And now I'm going to put the third one in, always being aware of which end is, uh, which end has the power on it, which end doesn't. And then just simply turn in. Now we're ready to test the light fixture. We're going to put the power to the light fixture, turn the circuit breaker back on, and see if the lights come on. And they do. Now, if one of the lights doesn't come on, the first thing to check is to make sure you have the bulb it correctly. Remember, as we stressed, that bulb is being fed with power only from one end. So take the bulb out, check, make sure you have it in correctly and put it back. The only thing left to do with our retrofit is to put the lenses, or in this case, the louvers back up. This has a little spring. The way I like to do it is I like to stick my screwdriver in here and make sure that thing lines up correctly. Once the springs are in, the louvers are done, and you're done with the project. You now have an energy efficient LED T8 lighting system. At Total Lighting Supply, we understand the importance of your time. Not everyone can be a lighting expert. We're not just about selling you light bulbs, light fixtures, and light components. We're also about helping you achieve amazing, 
and successful lighting results in your space. We hope that our video series will assist you in achieving your lighting goals.